back from London. I was about 25 pounds overweight and out of shape. And I wanted to rectify that. So I could go the typical route. You know, I could write a check to a gym I'd never go to. <laughs> or I could swear to myself that I will never again eat those foods that I love, but are doing all the damage. And I knew that going that route rarely uh, results in the outcome you desire. So I decided to become an active participant. And I thought about the habits and passions that I've developed over the course of my life. And I thought, can I make just a marginal adjustment to them so that they work in my favor as opposed to against me? And so I did. I've got this habit where I've been walking an hour and a half a day for the last seven years. And I've got this passion for uh, being in the outdoors. And so that year, I didn't actually set the New Year's resolution to lose 25 pounds. I set a resolution to hike all 33 trails in the front country of Santa Barbara's mountains. And I'd never been on a hike before in my life. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, it's not about the 33 trails. You have to break this big, ambitious goal down into these more manageable decisions, the types of decisions that need to be made correctly along the way in order to improve the odds of achieving the type of outcome you desire. It's not about even one trail. It's about those tiny little decisions, you know, like when you're sitting at your desk, putting in just a little extra time at the end of a day, or you're lying on your couch and you're clicking through the channels on your remote control or scrolling through your Facebook feed, and in that moment, you make the decision to put it down. You go put on your hiking clothes. You go walk outside your front door and you shut it behind you. You walk to your car, you get in your car, and you drive to the trailhead. You get out of the car at the trailhead and you take one step. You take two steps. Three steps. Every one of those steps that I've just described is a tiny little decision that needs to be made correctly along the way in order to achieve the ultimate outcome. Now, when I say I want to hike 33 trails in the front country, people think about the decisions at the top of the mountain. That's not what it's about. Because if you don't make the right decision when you're on the couch, there is no decision that occurs at the top of the mountain. So by the end of the year, I had hiked all 33 trails in the front country. I did them a couple of times each. I even did a few in the back country. I lost the 25 pounds, and I capped the year off by doing the hardest half marathon in the world, the Pier to Peak. In 2009, I got really ambitious. Ambitious for a guy who still to this day cannot settle down and focus on anything for more than five or 10 minutes at a time, and that was to read 50 books. But again, it's not about reading 50 books. It's not even about reading one book. It's not about reading a chapter, a paragraph, a sentence. It's about that decision when you're sitting at your desk at the end of the day, or when you're lying on the couch, or flicking through your Facebook feed, and you put down the phone. You pick up a book and you read one word. If you read one word, you'll read two words, three words. You'll read a sentence, a paragraph, a page, a chapter, a book. You'll read 10 books, 30 books, 50 books. In 2012, I got really ambitious.